Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Sorry we've been gone for the past two days, but we'll explain more later. They were just a little rough. We took the days. We didn't do anything. Actually, we did watch a lot of TV yesterday, but I'm out getting my miles in early this morning. First time in a while. Real humid, real foggy, but it feels good. The first time I turned him around to look at it, he was like, whoa. So we made it to Epcot at 6.45. James C. Boy here is fighting to sleep. <laughs> he was like dozing in the car, then he'd like scream and get angry. Yeah, he does seem to be liking the carriage. So. That's what we're gonna do. Then Sarah might get some lobster poutine. We'll see where the night takes us. We only have so much time, but we're gonna take every minute of it. He's looking at all the lights tonight. He's just soaking it all in. It did not take much convincing. I'm getting the protein. Sarah said like an hour and a half ago. We're getting the lobster protein tonight, right? <laughs> like, looks like we are. Sarah's living. You've been waiting for this day. Find a table. Look at this. We had to wait in line for like three minutes, but then the way to get the food was nothing. Yeah, lobster, cheese sauce, pickled jalapenos, and the citrus cream. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Looks really good. First reaction, let's see it. You gotta get a little bit of everything. Oh my gosh. That's a big chunk of lobster. Delicious. Give me any pickled everything. The baby stirs. Halfway through, what are your thoughts? It's a game changer. There's so much lobster in it. Oh and my like gosh. typically all of the toppings just like sit at the top and then you have french fries at the bottom. They did a really good job layering. Yeah, it up. Oh my gosh. This might be my favorite thing in the festival. It might be deconstructed. What? Or the risotto? Oh man. Oh yeah. Time to teach James about some of his lineage. <laughs> we just missed it. In that 12 minute wait, he fell asleep. Again. His limp hand. Again, it'll be like that sleep therapy, like soak it in, those I'm tapes. Indoctrinate him in his sleep, all of his Quebecness. Legend says the word Canada comes from Kanata, the Huron Iroquois word for village. We begin on the East Coast in Nova Scotia with one of our true Canadian treasures, the Blue Nose. Just west of Montreal is our nation's capital city, Ottawa. Continuing west of our way bigger falls is the provincial capital, the great city of Toronto. Let's move on to our third region, the Prairie Provinces. Just outside Calgary, the great outdoors become even greater. Say, are you a fan of Hellas game? Hell yes. Our fifth and final region is the north. Divided into Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. Well, that's just a glimpse of our Canada, far and wide. We hope you know now why we love it so much. Canada, my Canada, your lifeline of wonder on this planet Earth. Comment below if you've ever had the maple popcorn from this stand. And if you haven't, you gotta try it. Isn't the maple popcorn there so yummy? Yes. What's even yummier? The ketchup chips. They're not there anymore. They're not there anymore. We've been here almost an hour and we're just getting past Canada. I think that's, that's the sign of a good world showcase trip. Yeah. 
Stopping in Rose and Crown real quick for a black and tan and a cup of water. Looking good. Look at that. A great pour. A great pour. Sleeping baby. Black and tan. Ready for a World Showcase lap. What's that? A water tree. Thank you. We haven't been to the back of Morocco since uh, Disney technically took over ownership of all the shops. Makes me nervous because I don't know if they're gonna sell like these cool seats, pillows things that I've, I've always wanted one or two of these. Um, and they put them up there as decoration. I just don't know if they're gonna sell them anymore whenever these shops open. I hope it's just one of those things where like they cut ties for now and then they'll like bring it back in other ways. But the decorations are always on point in here. But it is weird to see all these shops closed. Isn't it? We've been back here to see it look so weird. We haven't, no. Usually this is like full of carts and tables yeah. and smells of, of incense. incense. Yeah. I'm a, I, I wish I didn't know. I, I, didn't, I was just thinking of the restaurant. Which is sad, but then I didn't, I didn't know that this you was... You didn't realize this was going to be all different too? Yeah. I'm sorry. Abu! Abu, what are you doing? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. The big reveal <laughs> is happening now. We're eating at Via Napoli before we go. Our last night, actually. This is our one of our three sit-downs, but we're actually having four sit-downs uh -huh. before we leave, and this is one of them. Yeah. Another one this Saturday. <gasps> Chef Mickey's. I've ah! never eaten Chef Mickey's yeah. in breakfast. Right. So that's two. Our third one, I always forget. California Grill. California Grill is not booked yet. No. Our kicker. But we're hopefully, hopefully it's going to be on the anniversary of his transfer dates. The kicker, the extra sit-down restaurant, is because we booked our very last DVC stay before we leave to Chicago. Yeah. We are staying at the Riviera for the first time. Yay! And we're eating at Topolino's for dinner. Yay! Cannot so live. much good food. You guys, we got four weeks left. We're gonna soak it up. We're gonna soak it up, we're gonna eat lots of food. I worry about the bills after. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of Frozen 2 stuff tonight, like artwork in the tents and stuff. Look at this, this so is So gorgeous, with Bruni. Wow. I remember learning about this one in art school because it's like reflection of the room that the painter is in and that sphere. Yeah, that's real. No, this is the yeah, I that's so it. cool. I want to look at every little detail of chaos. Secret passion of Peter's. I've, I've only been on like two boats my whole life, but I want to own a sailboat one day. By the time I'm 50, maybe. That's the 50 year old goal. Look at that bee. I love a good bee. He's cool. I like him. Ooh, and a hippy dippy Mickey Mouse. <gasps> I see another person from Arendelle. That's gonna be me in like 11 months. This is gonna be me in like two months. This is gonna be me in like one month. Ooh, more sailboats. Those are good. They got a lot of like vistas tonight. Yeah. Oh. Cats. Oh, look at they have a different soul. Oh. I love this one. It looks. Into the cartoon. Right, it looks like the cartoon's playing right in front of us. Best part about staying this late is you basically feel like you own the park. I mean, there's what, three families I just showed doing all of this? So don't you just feel like you own the park right now? Like, it's just ours to bask in all this glory all night? Yeah. Wish we could stay here till like 6 in the morning. I watched the Epcot Sunrise on Disney Plus. And How I was it? Stretches today. How was it? So the Earhart shared a playlist with us that's on YouTube and it's just all the beautiful Epcot music. We're gonna listen to it on our drive home and yeah. cry. <laughs> and I'll link it below so you can listen to it too. I worked in Future World. So Epcot holds a close place to our heart for a million different reasons. So beautiful. You love it? Yeah. So we're in the car, James is having a snack before we hit the road, but I wanted to explain that the past two days, 
was just a little wonky with um, both my work and I just wasn't feeling good. I got like a sore in my mouth. I get them every time my mouth gets cut on something, I get a sore. This was probably the worst one I've ever had to the point where like I couldn't even sleep. And then I couldn't drink coffee, so then I was getting caffeine withdrawals. So I was just in really rough shape for the past two days. It's still there, but I'm in better shape now. Um, so between a combination of that and then work being crazy Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, um, we just didn't, didn't end up vlogging the last two days. Monday we just like rested. We like took a nap, a family nap together. And then yesterday we actually just sat on the couch and watched the entire second season of Mandalorian. So now we've, we've watched that because we didn't watch that when it released. So now we're up to date on that. That was really good. Um, that's life sometimes. Sometimes you gotta, gotta take a step back and recharge the batteries and that's what we had to do. So but we're back. We're back. We're feeling good. Daily vlogging, but, right? Like nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong. And we're we're great. We just but needed it was just like we just needed the two days. Yeah, and it worked out well. I feel like even with James and I, like we were kind of feeling we were kind of feeling the same way. So we just needed it. But we're back, and we're ready to kick Disney World and Central Florida's behinds until we leave, which is in less than a month now. I don't think we've said what day we're leaving. Oh, we're leaving the end of February. Sarah and James are flying out one day. Me and Grant and Eve are driving out the next morning. No, plans no, have changed. Same the same morning. Yeah, we're going to drop them off the airport, come back, hook up the, the car to the U-Haul, and then hit the road. I begged Sarah when we got home if we could order Papa John's pizza. No, I said we could. I did. And then Stutch is going to make me eat the spinach. <laughs> <laughs> you talk yourself out of it. I don't know why the puppy wants his spinach tortilla so much. <laughs> Eva, it's your birthday's Friday. <laughs> You're so cute. Side note, I never pickled these radishes, so I'm doing that right now. So I'm totally winging this. I chopped up the radishes. I could really use like one of those really fine mandolin slicers. Comment down below if you know of a good one or if you have one that you swear by. So I used white wine vinegar, some water, some pickle juice because I was feeling zesty, red pepper flakes, minced garlic, fennel, and a little bit of mustard seasoning. Honestly, I'm just winging it. I did find a recipe online that I just kind of changed up a bit. Oh, and I also added some agave nectar to have a little sweetness to it. I don't know where the vlog let off, but this little guy got himself a nice little bath. So we're going to read the daily message. Are you ready? Are you ready to read the message? Alright, what is today? Today is the 27th. Do not get upset with people. Or situations, both are powerless without your reaction, anonymous. That's how you read this message, one-handed, holding a baby. It's good to be home. <laughs> two dweebs. <laughs> dweeb one, dweeb two. Three. King of the dweeb. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.